Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Thursday, April 4th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know. Today is National Burrito Day. The burrito is a dish with murky origins, which some historians argue isn't originally Mexican. The burrito's journey to American fame is a tale of adaptation, starting with the Spanish introducing wheat to Mexico, leading to the creation of flour tortillas. The burrito, as we know it, likely began in northern Mexico, evolving into a beloved staple of Mexican-American cuisine, despite its late popularity in the U.S. This culinary chameleon has embraced influences far beyond its traditional fillings, embodying the spirit of innovation and diversity. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the surf report. Expect morning conditions to remain clean with waves reaching fight a waist high. By afternoon, onshore wind introduced sloppier conditions. Friday brings a blend of chest to head high waves from the North Pacific swell with a day likely to be windy, big, and less favorable to say the least. Conditions are set to improve gradually into the weekend. Thursday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking fair at two feet until noon. After that, it's not looking good. Get out there Thursday because it's going to be a big, big mess until Saturday morning. Best time to ride is at 10 a.m. with the two-foot outgoing tide, when the west swell is one foot at 12 seconds and the onshore wind is five mile per hour. The first high tide Thursday will be five feet at 6 p.m. with a minus one foot low tide at 1.30. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 61 degrees for the water temperature. Checking out the weather in the San Diego area. This morning it's cloudy and feels like 56 degrees with three mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 711 and it will rise again tomorrow at 630. It looks like we're in for mostly clouds today with a high near 61 and wind of five to 10 mile per hour with gusts as high as 20. Tonight, Mostly cloudy with a low of 50 and more wind. Looking ahead in the weather. Friday begins with a 40% chance of rain before 11 a.m., shifting to showers and thunderstorms afterwards, partly sunny with a high near 57, and a west wind at 10 to 20 mile per hour, gusting to 30. Friday night sees a continued 40% chance of precipitation with showers and possible thunderstorms before 11 p.m. and a low around 47. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 61, cooling to 46 at night. Sunday remains mostly sunny, reaching 63, with a night low of 50 under mostly cloudy skies. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, San Diego's freeways are blooming with colors thanks to above average rainfall this winter, highlighting a deliberate beautification effort that began decades ago. Initiated by Lady Bird Johnson in 1985, the program aimed to enhance U.S. highways by allocating a portion of federal funds to seed wildflowers, focusing initially on drought tolerant varieties. Since 1995, California's focus has shifted to native species 
including California poppies and San Diego sunflowers, to combat erosion and enrich the landscape. While these efforts offer aesthetic pleasure to drivers, Caltrans warns against stopping on freeways to admire the flora. Now on to sports. The Houston Texans have made a strategic move by acquiring wide receiver Stefan Diggs from the Buffalo Bills, aiming to provide quarterback C.J. Stroud with an enhanced supporting cast. Diggs, celebrated for his consistent performance, joins a dynamic Texans offense, potentially elevating the team's prospects for the upcoming season. This acquisition aligns with the principle of building a robust team around a young quarterback to foster development and avoid the pitfalls that have hindered other NFL teams. Diggs' experience and versatility are expected to play a pivotal role in Houston's offensive strategy, further solidifying their position as contenders in the AFC South. Last night in local sports. The Padres at home beat the Cardinals 3-2. And the Lakers on the road beat the Wizards 125-120. In national hockey, the Kings at home beat the Kraken 5-2. Tonight, the Clippers are at home to take on the Nuggets. And the Kings head on the road to San Jose to skate with the Sharks. In top news, the White House has instructed NASA to develop a new time standard for the moon, known as Coordinated Lunar Time, or LTC, by 2026. This initiative aims to facilitate future lunar missions amid a burgeoning space race among global powers. LTC is designed to ensure precision in navigation, communication, and interoperability for space activities, accommodating the unique temporal dynamics of the Moon's environment. This effort underscores the importance of international cooperation, especially among the Artemis Accord signatories, to advance space exploration and establish a permanent human presence on the moon and beyond. In business news, Paramount Global stock surged by 15% amid progressing deal discussions with Skydance Media, hinting at a potential significant shift in the media landscape. This spike occurred after reports of a 30-day exclusive negotiation window agreed upon by Paramount. These discussions could lead to Skydance acquiring national amusements, which holds considerable control over Paramount. Paramount, known for its vast media holdings, including Paramount Pictures and CBS, has faced financial pressures, including a recent downgrade of its debt to junk status. The potential deal could reshape Paramount, a conglomerate built into a media giant by the late Sunner Redstone, as it navigates the evolving entertainment industry and its challenges. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is now just over $65,000. Ethereum is at $3,200. And Solana is $182. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach. Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk more science. NASA has awarded contracts to Venturi Astrolab, Intuitive Machines, and Lunar Outpost for the development of autonomous moon rovers. These rovers are intended to support both cargo and manned missions on the moon's surface particularly focusing on the Lunar South Pole's exploration. This initiative is part of NASA's Artemis program, aiming to establish a long-term presence on the moon. 
The contracts, valued at a maximum of nearly $5 billion over 15 years, signify NASA's commitment to fostering a lunar economy by partnering with commercial entities that can also pursue independent commercial opportunities. The rovers will enable extensive scientific exploration and support for astronauts, enhancing the capacity for discovery and the potential for sustainable lunar operations. And in entertainment news, a fifth installment of the Matrix franchise is officially in development, with Lana Wachowski returning as executive producer. Drew Goddard, known for his work on The Cabin in the Woods, and The Martian will take the helm as writer and director. Warner Brothers Motion Pictures expressed excitement over Goddard's fresh idea to extend the iconic series, promising to honor the original vision of Lana and Lily Wachowski while introducing a new perspective. Details on the plot and whether Keanu Reeves will reprise his role as Neo remain under wraps. The Matrix series, which debuted in 1999, has grossed nearly $2 billion globally across its four existing films. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the original Matrix. Do not try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. There is no spoon? Then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends. It is only yourself. The Oracle will see you now. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.